Today I'm going to cover how to collect and reuse yeast. It's very simple. You want to start out by adding water to whatever's left over after fermentation. Now this water should have been boiled and cooled to make sure that it is clean and sanitized. Now what you want to do with that water is you want to swirl it around so that the yeast comes into suspension. Now unfortunately that's going to bring all the troop into suspension as well. but we're going to take care of that in a little bit. So what's going to happen is everything's going to be mixing together and you're going to let it sit. After a while, you're going to start seeing clear divisions where you see a little bit of beer. In the middle is the yeast, the creamy layer is the yeast, and everything else in the bottom is true stuff that you don't want. So you want to pour everything into a smaller container and you want to leave as much true behind as you can. And again, this is going to be pretty much all mixed in uh, again, once you throw it into a smaller container. And so again, you're gonna let this sit until you start to see the clear divisions. You're gonna see how it goes from being all cloudy to you can see the yeast there. And once it is compacted, all the troop is compacted, then what you wanna do at that point is you wanna start transferring all the yeast into a smaller container. Now, the way that I've been doing this is when I transfer the yeast into a small container, the uh, troop tends to want to mix in with the with the rest of the yeast. So I do one container at a time and I let the uh, big container sit for a little bit before doing the second. So once I let this sitting for a little bit, I go ahead and I transfer to the second container. And again, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit until um, and then I do the same thing for the third container up to uh, four containers is about as much as I get with these um, whenever I collect yeast. You can see how um, it gets harder and harder to get yeast and leave the troop behind and that's why I let it sit every time I transfer. So you can use one of these um, jars as a vial of yeast. If you let it sit long enough, uh, especially if you refrigerate, refrigerate it overnight, you'll see that all the yeast compacts in the bottom and you can treat each one of these as a vial of yeast, except they're usually stronger. So, um, you know, you might wanna start getting in the habit of weighing the yeast and figure out exactly how much yeast you're adding by weight. So this is how you collect and reuse the yeast.